Hello students and welcome to another science lesson. Our topic for today is lights and optics, specifically mirrors and lenses. This is part one and our part one is about reflection and mirrors. So now let's discuss optics. So I will say optics, it is a branch of physics that studies the behavior and properties of light including its interaction with matter and the construction of the instruments that use or detect it. Another term is geometric optics or ray optics. It is a model of optics that describes light propagation in terms of rays. So the ray in geometric optics is an abstraction useful for approximating the paths along which light propagates under certain circumstances. So in short, geometric optics deals with image formation. Now, let's discuss mirror. So when you say mirror, this is any object that has a smooth reflecting surface. So we have two types of mirror. First is plane mirror, mirror that has a flat surface, and spherical mirror, which uh, has a curved surface. So we have two types of spherical mirror. First is the convex. Second is concave mirrors. Now, let's discuss image formation. So we use the acronym LOST, L-O-S-T. So in determining the characteristics of an image which is being formed by means of reflection, it has location, orientation, size, and type. So now, let's discuss location. So when we say location, this is where the image is found. So we have two types of location. First is in front of the mirror. Second is behind the mirror. Now, orientation. So when we say orientation, how it is positioned. So, we have three types of its uh, of orientation. First is laterally reversed. So when you say laterally it reverse, it is left becomes right. Second is erect, which is upright, and the third one is inverted, where head becomes foot. Size. In terms of size, how big or small the image form. First, is it Enlarge or increase in size. Second, is it reduced or decrease in size? Or third one, same size. And last one is type. So when we say type, this is the nature of the image form. So we have two types of type. First is real. This is inverted, formed in front of the mirror. And virtual, which is erect and being formed behind the mirror. So now let's discuss plane mirror. So when you say plane mirror, it is mirror that has a flat surface, simplest possible mirror, and properties of the image can be determined by geometry. So let's discuss the image formed in plane mirror. So we have we have here P or point P, which is uh, an incident ray, and then this is the point Q, okay, which is the reflected ray. So what does it mean? So ray 1, which is starts at P, follows the path PQ and reflects on itself. Next, this is another incident ray, and then followed by the reflected ray. So ray number 2 follows the path PR and reflects according to the law of reflection. Now, by means of this method, image appears the same, di same distance behind the mirror as object is in the front of the mirror. Image is the same orientation and image is upright. So, in short, the mirror has location behind the mirror, orientation erect and laterally reversed, size the same size, and virtual, which is erect and formed behind the mirror. 